Right, and now, catching up with Mark Barton and Dane Pierce. Hello, boys. G'day, mate. Hi, mate. Whereabouts do I find you two as, as we speak? Yeah, well, mate, we're um, in uh, Charter Town. We're about uh, what, probably an hour and a half, two hours inland from the council. So, North Queensland, mate, back in uh, Tainstack, mate. Nice and warm there, Bardo, compared to New Zealand. Yeah, you wouldn't uh, swap the weather you got up here, mate. What would it be, Dane? 24, 25? Yeah, day up here in uh, Queensland. Now, it's been a bit of a com- culmination. This is the horse of the north, I believe, and I keep learning about the camp drafting and the performance horses as as I go along. But this is something that's um, slowly building a fair bit of momentum, but it also has a bit of a significance for you guys as far as your, your selling season goes. Yeah, well, mate, we've started back in February in, uh, in Tamworth, and then we've had a, a busy schedule, which uh, Dane's been part of right the way through. So he's um, held the baton, and uh, this is the culmination of a, of a five-month um, equine sales uh, program. So it's a great day to finish on. And Dane, um, it's been a big year for you guys, but it, it must be must be sort of, one, in, in a way, a little bit happy that you get towards the end, but I suppose a little bit of bittersweet for you. You get, a, um, you know, time off, but I think you're a bit of a sales junkie, aren't you? Oh, I probably am, mate, but it's, you know, it's, it's just good to be a part of these events and to get the result for our client. That's, that's really pleasing for us. We've come all the way up here in the book, man, drug a lot of people, a lot of our regular team, and, and, you know, given these people up here, Over seventeen thousand today. True. Every now and then you're just breaking up, Dane. I'm sorry about that. But true to um true to form for nutrient for the year, pretty much on the rise, sales average is up, everything's very, very positive in the performance horse world. Yeah, look, mate, this is the moment where there's some fantastic, you know, cattle properties and money in that, that the, the big cattle stations have been able to reinvest in. Yeah, you know, a lot of these horses have to work up here. Um, you've had a terrific late break of season up here, probably as good as I've ever seen in the 30 years I've been coming north. I've not seen this country this good at this time of year. So um, the other thing, mate, it's, it's, it's experience. We talked about the future experience right through. Um, north Queensland is the home of... Um, Hard work and good fun, like these guys enjoy the weekend. They do indeed, and uh, this little wry smile on Dayton's face, I've got a fair idea what happens at the end of a sale by the looks, Dane. Oh, that's uh, a bit story for that Monday morning, probably up those balls, that'll be another, another call. <laughs> be, be, be a little bit of fun. Um, the performance horse, Bardo, across the board, though, like everything's on the up, but you must be so wrapped that, like, I suppose, say, if you're like almost hobbyist, at one stage, organisation, the professionalism that it's starting to reach now, it's just enormous, isn't it? Yeah, look, we, we've come as an equine business right now with what happened at Tamworth, then to Woomba, then up here, then add into it our, our, our entry into the uh, standard bread market. You know, we, we, we're well on track to be a $30 million business and, you know, that's allowed us to invest in technology, um, invest in some of the people who want to be part of it. And we've also learned a lot out of the uh, Canterbury market, but we've been able to deliver a lot better um, um, experience and a lot better up um, sales process for the uh, for vendors supported us over the last 15 years. No, I totally agree. I think I think the whole association I've had with you guys has been sensational. I think not many people complain about being around you guys. You, you do, uh, definitely work hard, play hard, even travel hard, Bardo. It's been a pretty long week for you, um, fair to say. Yeah, to get from Auckland to Charters was, a, it was an experience. Yeah, leave at 1 o'clock Australian time, Auckland, and arrive in Townsville on Friday night, 1 a.m. So, uh, but it was worth it. We got up here, we've seen um, fantastic competition end up and some fantastic results. Of course, that horses reached 50,000, um, I'd say terrific averages and growth. And uh, then Little Woolies is the next one, which is effectively this is our last physical option, but Little Woolies starts next weekend. So, that's, uh, that's the next focus when we get back to the Monday. Absolutely, that's. That's on the uh, Nutrien, uh, go to the Standard Bread section on that. Starts on Friday, this coming Friday, uh, 10 o'clock, but it'll start Friday anyway and goes through till Monday to 6 o'clock. And then as we all know how Auctions Plus works, 6 o'clock comes, then the button starts going beep, beep, and away away we go and uh, start highlighting it from there. So some ripping lots, Bardo. We highlighted it in New Zealand, but there's some cracking lots. We want people to go there and check them out. Yeah, 
Well, look, I, I'd even try back out the day. I might be actually had a look online there at the point getting organised here, and you now I'd probably throw at him. You and I have already picked him. I'll see how close he gets to the mark. I want to mate. So, Paul and, and everyone I know, you know, Dick Lott, uh, I reckon Dick Glass, mother, Dale Dick Glass, Glass, so recently named the Victorian Open Age. Uh, uh, he's tricked us in Bolton in Sky Valley, so he's probably one of the really, really standout lots I think everyone definitely looks to. Uh, there's big Christian Cullen Red Mares in their bar as well. And, you know, it's just a, a really good draft, and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just continuing on the top of the sales. No, nah, absolutely, and um, we were both in New Zealand last week, but they were even keen about knowing about the better delights of so Christian Cullen's Group 1 winning mares, Inter-Dominion mares, plus some weanlings. It's all very, very exciting and uh, really, really look forward to it. Boys, thank you very much for joining me. Christy, done a huge job holding the uh, camera. We, uh, we're we going to try and work a way around getting these things out a little bit better and easier, but uh, Christy, well done, and thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Thank you.